Hi, I'm Lawrence and this is Planet Moonshine, the channel where we use home distilling techniques in a professional microbrewery and we're trying to find out if we can make product that people will buy. Today we're going to explore whether we can take something that I would normally throw away and turn it into something that people might buy. So, if that piques your interest, stick around. Taking some beer, finished product from my brewery, that is now too old to sell. Basically, uh, when COVID came along, uh, our sales volume declined quite dramatically as most of our customers were closed, leaving us with a lot of beer sat around. And when that beer passed its sell-by date, I could no longer sell it to customers. What to do with it? Aha! Let's distill it and see if we can recover that alcohol and turn it into something that people will want to buy. Okay guys, so here we are getting ready to charge the still uh, with some beer. This keg has some old beer in it and uh, we're just getting ready to get going. We've got some dispense equipment here, which we're just gonna to use to push the beer into the keggle. Okay, so uh, first thing to do is make sure that uh, the drain valve is closed. Uh, otherwise you'll find yourself pouring it in and just as fast as you're doing it, it's pouring out the bottom. Ask me how I know this. Anyway, Moving swiftly along, we simply make a connection and start pumping beer into our keggle. So this is going to take a while to fill and probably won't be very exciting for you. If you want to see what it looks like coming out, it looks like this. So we're just going to run this down and see where we end up. Okay, so we've charged the keg. Uh, we've got about 40 litres of beer in there and uh, it's still quite foamy. Uh, we're going to let that subside for a little bit and so we can see more accurately where the level is and see if we need to put any more in to bring it up to about that 40 litre mark. Okay guys, so the foam has now subsided pretty much. Uh, what you can see is probably about an inch thick now, maybe two and that means that the liquid content within the still is probably somewhere around here which is about the 40 litre mark which is perfect for us so i'm going to put the cap on the still and uh, turn the elements on okay Okay, so a cap is on. The still has a sight glass in place so that I can see if any puking happens. This is quite likely in the early stages of the distillation because uh, this is a carbonated beer, so it's uh, quite fizzy in nature. I have left all of the bubble plates in the still. The deflagmator is on the top, but it's not turned on. And what we're gonna do now is turn the still on. So there it is, it stills at full power. And we'll come back to this in about 45 minutes and see how it's doing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the still has been running now for about 30 minutes. Uh, we're still at ambient temperature. Uh, if you take a look at the temperature gauge there, we're reading about 34 degrees, which is what it is more or less in the brewery. And I have in fact now connected up the uh, condenser to the mains, although I haven't yet turned that on, because as yet, as we work our way down the still, there's still no real sign of boiling. There's a little bit of condensation on there, but it's not boiling yet. Probably in another 10 minutes, we'll start to see some action. Okay, so the time has come to 
prepare our collection jars. Uh, these jars have been washed, so all I'm gonna do is give a quick squirt around with some sanitizing fluid. This is Starsan. It's uh, a very good product that I use a lot in the brewery to sanitize equipment. And it doesn't need much time in contact. And the good thing about Starsan is it's safe, food safe. So these do not need to be rinsed again. You just need to basically drain out any liquid that remains and you're good to go. Okay guys, well in the last couple of minutes we have in fact just started to boil and as you can see we've got a little bit of puking taking place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here, turn the power off and hopefully that puking is going to subside. There we go. Back down into the still. There's still a little bit sat in these first two sight glasses. But as you can see, most of it's already subsided back down. So we're just going to turn that back on again and see where we go. Okay, so power's back on again. And let's see what we get. Yep, there it goes straight away. A little bit more puking taking place. So far it's not passed any further up the still. The third side glass is still completely clear. And if we look at that activity inside the sight glass, you can see it's going crazy up and down, up and down, up and down. And what's starting to happen is, we're starting to get some spirits rising up through the column and then dropping back down. And what that's gonna do uh, is basically rinse away all that foam and puking back down into the still. If we look at our head temperature, it's still not moved. So at the top here, it's still quite cool. And you can see that while we've still got some activity going on down here, some puking, the second sight glass is clear and the first one's starting to uh, settle. And I'm fairly confident that pretty soon that puking is just going to completely stop. So let's take a look back at the head temperature. You can see it's rising now quite substantially. So we're starting to get some product coming up and over the point of no return, which means that any second now, we're probably going to start to see some activity here. Now I turned the water supply on to the condenser just as it was starting to boil. No sense in wasting water before that. So we're just waiting for the level of the spirit to rise now and then we should start to see our first drips from our stripping run. Okay, so our hydrometer has uh, started to rise inside the parrot and we've got our first flow of alcohol, yay! If we take a look back down now at the sight glass, you can see that most of that puking activity has come to an end. We're certainly not getting anything going above the sight glass. And we've got a pretty steady stream of spirit being collected. At the moment, that's sitting at about 85% ABV. So what's coming off right now is probably four shots. But we don't care because we're doing a stripping run and all we're gonna do is collect everything that comes off the still. Okay, so it's literally just a few minutes later. 
you can see that uh, already the alcohols dropped to around 50% ABV and if we take a look at the head temperature we're running at about 95, 96 degrees C on the head. Pretty solid stream of uh, alcohol coming off and if we just take a little taste of that mm, that's not bad quite interesting flavor okay guys so i've just taken a little sample of what's coming off the still at the moment uh, we are about 10 minutes into the uh, stripping run and we're collecting at the moment at about 48 percent abv still coming off at a nice steady stream and uh, it's going quite well and i took a wee sample in a shot glass just to mm, assess it i suppose so on the nose it's quite fruity a little bit musty there's a hop character about it for sure In the mouth, I'm getting uh, apples and pears and uh, some um, hoppy character. I, it's, not, it's not particularly a, a hop character that you would describe as being citrusy. Um, it's a little bit more earthy than that. It's certainly very pleasant. And uh, I can still detect just a trace of heads in that. It's still ever so faintly prickly on the tongue. But that is dramatically reduced uh, from that first taste you saw me take earlier. And uh, I think we're heading in the right direction with this run. Okay, so. We are about 15 minutes into this run. We're collecting at around 45% ABV. The head temperature hasn't really changed much. It's maybe uh, 96 degrees now. And I think so far we must have collected just over half a liter. So it's going really fast, which is great news. So here we are, we've swapped out the first jar and we're still collecting at just around, just under 40% ABV uh, with two litres already collected. Okay guys, so we're coming to the end of our stripping run now. Our second jar is almost full. Uh, we're currently taking off at about 25% ABV. Okay, so the temperature inside the parrot. It's about 38 degrees. Okay, so stripping run is complete. We have got uh, two two-litre jars of spirits. If I get my alcohol meter and pop it into the first jar and we take a temperature reading. So the temperature in the jar is 35 degrees and the alcohol is about 48. We compare that to the second jar. Temperature in the jar is a little bit higher because it came off the still more recently. So that's reading about 
Yeah, 36 and a half. Let's say we've got an average of 30 in this jar. Okay guys, so stripping runs complete. We've collected four liters of spirits in two jars. Uh, in the first jar that came off, we've got 42% ABV. And in the second jar, we've got 23.4% ABV. That of course is because as you do any kind of distillation run, the alcohol always starts high and tails down to finish low. And so one jar is always higher than the other. We've made no cuts. It's just exactly as it is. The ABV as it was coming off the still at the end of the second jar was pretty low, below 20% ABV. So I think we've done okay. So that about wraps it up for this video. I'll give you a sneak peek of what's coming up in the uh, next video where we're going to take the output of several stripping runs and we're going to put them all together and do a spirit run. So that's what's coming up next. If you've enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Um, if you would like to see uh, more about this uh, waste beer into usable product, uh, video series, then hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll get notified when the next video is released. So in the meantime, keep on chilling and keep on distilling. Peace out. So, hey guys, guess what we've got here? Yeah, we've got a lot of jars of alcohol that's been stripped, a stripping run from old beer. So somewhere between 38 and 39 litres of alcohol are varying in strength from some of these smaller jars that were uh, half the tailsy half of a run uh, at around 25% and some of these jars uh, which were the headsy end of a run at around 40%. And these bigger jars at the back, each of which is a four litre jar, uh, were a complete run from beginning to end. And so it's everything, four shots, heads, hearts, tails, the lot. I stopped collecting generally uh, somewhere around 15% alcohol by volume. Um, and here we go. So we've got enough now to do a spirit run. So happy days.